So coronavirus has had a significant impact on our family lives. Um, at the very start in March, um, my parents were on holiday in Tenerife and lockdown started to happen over there. Um, their flights were cancelled home and we had to make sure we got them home safely um, and enough supplies in for them, given that they would be self-isolating. On top of that, in work, um, I was redeployed to our COVID support team, a um, very small team, to try and manage the outbreak um, within the hospital environment. That involved early starts, late finishes, uh, covering a seven day service as opposed to the normal Monday to Friday that I would usually cover. Um, that on top of uh, the children being at home and uh, Davy working as well um, was very challenging, um, as well as uh, taking on the role of trying to teach the children something that's definitely not within um, mine or Davy's skill set. Um, that's brought a few uh, challenges its way. In fact, I was a teacher this morning and had a expelled two of my children before 10 o'clock. Um, it's really difficult to try and explain how it's affected our daily lives. It's almost all that we think about at the moment. Um, I have stopped watching the news because uh, at the very beginning um, it was just overload. There was so much information um, available and I couldn't come home and not think about it. Uh, it. It was absolutely everywhere. I was consumed by um, hearing about this virus that I was dealing with almost every minute of every day at work. Um, we're now through that and planning to uh, return to whatever new normal is. Um, we're still on um, the, the small team that we have, uh, which covers a still a seven day service. We've managed to get into a bit of a routine with that. Um, and work only five days and getting two off, which at the beginning it wasn't possible to do that, um, into a bit more of a routine with the children and getting them their tasks uh, for their schoolwork organised. Um, catching up with friends obviously isn't possible. Um, seeing our parents isn't possible. Uh, we're having to um, do that by FaceTime. Um, we've got a really good group of friends that are involved in Zoom quizzes. Um, so we've been doing that, which has been been fun. Uh, I live in a good estate with lots of good neighbours and when we go out walks, um, we bump into people and obviously socially distancing, manage to, to have chats. Um, but it's, it's made you realise who's important and um, who you keep up with. Uh, it's reprioritised that. And taking a lot of things for granted, something as simple as finishing work and being able to go into the supermarket to get, get your dinner um, isn't as easy as it used to be um, and a bit more planning is required, especially when there's queues at the supermarket and when you're on your one day off early on, when I was on my one day off, I really didn't want to stand for an hour in a queue to go in and get um, something for, for the dinner. So I've had to do online shopping, which I didn't used to do. Um, it's been a challenge to juggle shift work. Um, there's been several days where uh, Davies come in from work and literally we have passed on the driveway and I've driven to work um, and the same happens for a few days until he's on his, his days off or, or I manage to get days off as well. Um, I have to be honest and say that I haven't been able to keep up with um, a lot of the church goings on that I would normally have endeavoured to, um, mainly because I have been working Sundays. Uh, I was off Sunday there, which was the first time in about five or six weeks, um, so managed to uh, try and zoom in to the, the kids' Sunday school. Um, I think it's really good that the services are on YouTube because I was able to watch that before um, going to work on a Sunday. Um, it keeps you a bit more grounded and gives you almost a sense of normality when everything around you is um, a bit more chaotic than normal. It's lovely when you hear people at the end of the service um, thanking people for keeping in touch with them um, and seeing the photos of past events. It's nice to see people again. Um, I do miss that. I do miss the community spirit of the church um, and what it brought to you. It's 
amazing how you take that for granted and actually you do miss it once it's gone. Um, and lastly, I'm grateful for the church. I'm grateful for the fellowship that we have and the talents um, and abilities that we have that have enabled us to um, adapt to online worship um, and keep the connections that we have with the uh, BBs, the Brownies and the Youngish Women's Group. Um, and long may that continue. Stay safe, everyone.